Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across, transform as from one being into another. Hmm, is it morph, maybe? Self-defense spray, yeah, that could be mace, right? So maybe it is morph, okay. I think we maybe have a good start here. Let's just double check on the downs here. Response to a sting. Maybe that could just be ouch. Gush praise. Uh, maybe that's rave. Although, look at this weird string at the beginning here. Let's take a look at this. This is a grid spanner here. Address every aspect of something. Hmm. Shouldn't that be cover all the bases, maybe? Does that fit? Cover all the bases. Yeah, that does fit. Nice, okay. So it's not ouch. Hmm. What is this? Rams ma'am? This is wordplay as indicated by this question mark here. Um, so I guess this is asking who a Rams lady would be. That would be a U. Um, so is this just ow ow? <laughs> okay. In the no could be aware. And then that would make this pre opposite of post. Yeah, that's the opposite prefix. Voila. That should be here it is, I think. Right? That could be. And then what is this here? Pseudonym of the essayist Charles Lamb. Oh man, I think he showed up on the puzzle a few weeks ago. Ugh. I just don't have any memory of this though. Shoot, okay. Bit of cunning. Hmm. I don't know. Bit of cunning. Kind of pitcher. Are we talking about a baseball pitcher? That's interesting because this first long answer kind of makes me think of baseball a little bit because of bases. Kind of pitcher, it's not ewer. Jazz legend Fitzgerald, that's Ella Fitzgerald. Prestigious school in Metro Boston. Hmm. And it ends in a T? That's gotta be MIT, right? Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Kinda, sorta, suffix? That should be ish, I think. Send as a payment. Yeah, that should be remit. Sometimes you see that on like statements from your bank. Please remit. Uh, oh, maybe this is about a baseball pitcher. It could be a relief pitcher. Yeah, that's like a pitcher that comes in to replace another one. Ugh, still have no idea on this Charles Lamb. Beethoven's fur blank, that should be fur Elise. Shelters once made from buffalo skins, probably teepees. And we've got the full EE -E on this one. Sometimes they just spell it with one E at the beginning. Impersonate? Um, hmm. Play as? Doesn't seem great to me. Go over terribly with an audience? I guess that would be bomb, like a movie would maybe. Sail the seven blank, sail the seven seas, just like Sinbad. Bro and sis. So this is kind of informal language, right? So they're looking for informal language in the answer also. So a brother and sister would be siblings, right? And that would be sibs if we're being informal. Camper's annoyance. Hmm. I think the most annoying thing in camping is like, getting bitten by mosquitoes and stuff. So is it insect something? I don't know. It could be. One way to play it. Play it cool? Hmm. Smart mouth could be sassy. This makes sense. You tend to see a lot of S's at the right edge of a grid because a lot of English words end in S. So this is definitely the kind of word you're gonna see on the right and bottom sides of grids. Impersonate. That should be pose as. Okay, it wasn't play as. Kill the ump, <laughs> EG. Oh my goodness. 
I guess that's a cry that fans could yell in the audience of a baseball game. Um, maybe we do have a baseball theme. We've got a bunch of kind of baseball answers already. Interesting. Orinoco Flow Singer. Is that Enya? And you can play something by ear. Excellent. Yeah, okay. All right, so we maybe have a baseball theme going. We'll probably see once we get to this next long one. This is most likely another theme answer. A portion. Hmm. This is like meeting out. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is a while. Usually you hear people say they used their wiles, but I guess you could do a singular while. Maybe this is a lot. There we go. That makes sense. That's kind of apportioning things out. Snide question to one issuing a challenge. Uh, hmm. Snide question. So it made me begin with like why or who or something. This would be an H. Let's take a look at this next long one. Immediately. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have maybe a baseball cliche theme here. Because this could be right off the bat, right? That's another kind of phrase that's using baseball language. We've got bases and bats, yeah. Strain as one's brain. Hmm, maybe rack? You can rack your brain, right? Like a team on a day off. I guess they could be idle. That could sort of be another baseball clue. You could be talking about a baseball team there. Proficient. Could that be adroit? Yeah, that's a nice kind of rare word there. Adroit means you're very skilled at something. Potter's materials could be clays. Blank Sabe, the Lone Ranger to Tonto. Tonto was his sidekick, right? And he called him Kimo Sabe, I think. So is this who you? I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say this. Who you? I guess, I guess that makes sense. If someone challenges you, you could say who you as like a way to insult them kind of. Okay, early record player, that could be a gramophone. Right, as we learned yesterday, there was a lot of early development done by Thomas Edison. Okay. Maybe we can get our next baseball cliche here. Oddly and unexpectedly. Yeah, that should be out of left field, right? Nice. I'm really liking these baseball cliches. These are great. Um, I'm trying to think if I can think of what the last one's going to be before even looking at it. I don't know. There's just so many baseball cliches. Effortless. Hmm. Is it freely? I don't know. I don't know if that sounds quite right. Attack with a low flyover. I guess that could be strafe, like with a military airplane. Part of a wine glass or watch. They both have stems, right? Use the stem to wind your watch. The outsiders. I guess that could just be them. I'm talking about others. Supervillain in Marvel Comics. Hmm in Marvel Comics. I don't know, that doesn't look familiar to me. Is it Ares? Does Ares show up in Marvel Comics? I mean, they have Thor. I guess it's kind of possible. Email about big lottery winnings usually. <laughs> yeah, that's almost always a scam. Okay, so maybe this is facile. Ooh, that's another really good piece of language. I think this definition of effortless, when you say facile, it means like you're not putting any effort into thinking about something usually, like a facile explanation is like an easy explanation that doesn't really go into the details of why something is the way it actually is. Yeah, that's a really good vocab word there. An umpire's outstretched arms signifies this. That's a safe call as opposed to an out call. Nice, I like all the little bonus baseball answers we get here. Babe in the woods. I guess that could be a naif. A naif is a word for a naive person. Yeah. What gibberish makes um, no sense, maybe? Yeah, okay. 
one for the road. This is another wordplay clue. So we have a pun in here somewhere. This is not going to be about taking a drink on the road. Hmm. I don't know. It's going to maybe be a pun about a road somehow. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's clear now. These quotes indicate that they're looking for an equivalent phrase here. So an equivalent phrase to mm-hmm, it's clear now could be I see. Um, hmm. One way boats come, they can come ashore. So I guess this would be a tire. Yeah, you need a set of tires to go on the road. And this is just asking for one of them. Nice. That's a good example of a good wordplay clue there. Yo, what's happening? Another equivalent phrase. That could maybe be sup. Yeah, because this is kind of informal with the yo there. So you need an informal piece of language for the answer. Took care of. Hmm. Is this about taking care of a child, maybe? Certain worker in a stadium. That could be an usher, like in a baseball stadium. Situation that starts things completely over. Hmm. A whole new ball game. <laughs> nice. That looks like it's probably our final baseball cliche there. Took care of. That could be saw to. Be inclined to. When you see a word in parentheses like that, it means it needs to be able to go at the end of your answer. So this looks like it's going to be tend to. Things a sayers a say. Yeah, a saying is a word that refers specifically to testing or. So this is going to be ors. And then what is this? Olds? Bygone GM product informally. Yeah, I guess they made the olds mobile. Awesome. This is another equivalent phrase. Is it just like so rad or something? That's disgusting. Another equivalent phrase. I guess it's maybe you like this possibly. And then maybe this could be sweet. Yeah, that means awesome a lot of the time. Pitchers. Okay, we got our ewers after all. This is a literal type of pitcher that you would put liquid in. Not the relief kind of pitcher. Okay. One who's radioactive. <laughs> this is more wordplay. This is not about radioactive particles. This is going to be someone that is on the radio. And that's going to be a cb -er, Someone who uses a CB radio. I like that one. Air condition could be cool, maybe. Units in a homecoming parade. I guess you have floats in a homecoming parade. Money to tide one over. I guess that could be a loan until you get your paycheck or something. Piece of pub furniture could be a stool. Can we get this along down? Happened to poetically. Um, I would want that to be befallen. Yeah, that's a nice word there. I'm just not sure if it's the right tense happened to. Let's make sure. Let's see if this is actually an N. Cockamamie. Hmm, that kind of means like crazy or inane, right? What is this one? Pray for a lion. That could be a new, maybe? It's another word for a wildebeest. Is it nutso? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would be a nice kind of parallel because they're both kind of quirky words. Electrical unit. That should be a watt. Yeah, it's looking pretty good down here. Use the return key for, I guess that could be enter. Yeah, like you would in a computer. Iowa College Town is Ames. Yeah, I've seen that enough times on crosswords. Ticker tape parade honoree would be a hero. So is this going to be like a trumpet sound? Let's see. Wah. Outburst in a nursery. Oh, no, it's a baby sound. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we just have this little section over here now. I guess it is befallen. Illegal payment could be a bribe. Not off one's rocker. And this is wordplay. So it's not going to be about being nutso, right? This is probably literally going to be about being in a rocking chair. So maybe it's seated. 
Nice, I like that wordplay too. There's been a few good ones on this puzzle. Okay, transportation in a Duke Ellington tune. Is that the A train? Yeah, like the subway in New York City. Okay, so this is insect bite. Yeah, that is definitely a drag when you're camping. One way up a mountain. I think that's gonna be a T-bar, like up a skiing mountain. Let's just double check. Member of the first family. Yeah, this is not about one of the Bidens. This is about the first family in the Bible, and that would be Abel. And then there should be an R, right? Actor Fox of Sanford and Son. Ooh, Red Fox. I think I've heard that name, but yeah, it's a little bit of a tricky cross there. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Nice. 19 for Tuesday, not too bad. Um, yeah, this was nice. As a baseball fan, you know, I kind of love whenever there's a baseball theme. So cover all the bases right off the bat, out of left field, and whole new ball game are definitely kind of baseball cliches that have permeated into the popular consciousness. So yeah, that's a nice kind of group of four there. And I loved all the kind of extra little bonus baseball answers here. We have safe, we have cry for kill the ump <laughs> and relief pitcher. Yeah, that's really nice. And we also got some kind of halfway baseball clues with like a worker in a stadium. So yeah, that was kind of nice theme density there. And we had some nice wordplay clues too. I liked this one, this radioactive one. That was really good. This tire one was also really nice. Yeah, we had a few good examples of wordplay on this one. We also had a couple of little examples of tricky vocab, which I kind of like to see, as long as it's not too arcane. Facile is a really good word. And adroit, yeah. A couple of good words to know. And I love seeing that on a Tuesday puzzle. All right, well, thanks for covering all the bases with me on this baseball-themed Tuesday puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.